channel and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why I think Lou and Peter should get back together in Heartland Season 14 or just on Heartland in general. This is a video that I've wanted to do for a long time because I absolutely love Lou and Peter together and a lot of people ask me why I don't ship Lou and Mitch but instead I ship Lou and Peter so I thought I would make a video talking about that today. But before I get into all that, if you guys could please leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Tell me where to go of 20,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate that. And if you guys want daily Heartland content and season 14 updates, just make sure you hit the red subscribe button down below because I make Heartland videos every single day. So if you guys want up to date uh, Heartland information and season 14 updates and just Heartland content and Heartland videos in general, uh, just make sure you subscribe to my channel because I make those videos every single day. And if you subscribe, you'll have daily Heartland videos to watch and season 14 updates and you'll be, help be helping my dream come true. So subscribe, especially if you want daily Heartland content. But now that that YouTube promo is out of the way, let's jump right into today's video. So if you've been watching my channel for a long time, you know that I absolutely love Lou and Peter together. Now, this is a question I get asked a lot. Why? Well, I just... I think Michelle Morgan and Gabriel Hogan work really well on screen together and I've said before in many videos and not just in my Heartland videos but in other TV show videos that I've talked about you know relationships and on screen relationships in TV shows I've said that if you don't have good chemistry between the two actors that are portraying the um, on screen relationship then it's not believable it's not the fans will not get um, attached to it and I think Gabriel and Michelle have very good chemistry on screen together uh, when it comes to Kevin and Michelle um, I'm gonna be honest this is no hate to Kevin at all he's a fantastic actor but I just I don't like the character of Mitch I find him to be quite annoying especially in season 13 with the whole like uh, argument with Jack Tim and and Mitch about like the garland beef thing i was like so okay you're you're kind of tearing the family apart here but you know you still want to be with lou so great and also i just i i've been team peter ever since i can remember i absolutely love um seeing them together and just seeing how they deal with situations and yes they have their arguments they have their disagreements they have their fights yeah sure but that's like every relationship, whether it's friendship, relationship, marriage, uh, just best friend, whatever. You you all have disagreements, you all have arguments, but you all have to talk about it and deal with the situation because that that's just that's just relationships in general. And to be honest, all the scenes in season thirteen with uh, Peter and Lou really, really, really have me hoping that we are going to see them together in season fourteen. Or if if not together, at least I'm really hoping that we'll get to see them kind of like realize that hey, you know, we still have feelings for each other. Let's see where that goes. And the biggest scene that I used to argue why I think Lou and Peter still have feelings for each other is the uh is one of the final scenes I think not fi their final scenes together in uh season in the season 13 finale where uh, uh Peter and Mitch kind of get into a little bit of an, of an argument and you see Peter like defend Lou and I'm like if he didn't have feelings for her he wouldn't be this upset and then they start arguing about you know his marriage with Lou and then Mitch brings up the, his marriage with Lou and then Peter fires back and I'm like so do you still like her I, I, like I I want them to be together so bad okay like they just they work I feel like and I I know a lot of people disagree with that but I think Peter is the only one that like can understand Lou and how she is and how she deals with situations and also in season 13 I'm just gonna say this why was Peter there to support Lou but Mitch wasn't so her ex-husband was there but not her current boyfriend that's okay and also the scene where they are waiting for Georgie to get home when she goes to meet Quinn and they're just, you know, talking, they're sitting down, talking on the couch, waiting for her to get home. I was just waiting 
for them to like hug or something and I was like you guys obviously still have feelings for each other why are you doing this to yourself why are you doing this to me why are you doing this to the fans oh my gosh just decide if you're going to be together or not thank you and another reason that I just I want Lou and Peter to be together is simply because I want the love triangle drama to stop it is so dragged out now between Peter Lou and Mitch or uh, Lou, Peter, and Mitch, or, you know, the whole team Mitch or team Peter thing, I'm just like, decide who you want to be with and be with him, okay? But also, I just, I feel like Mitch and that relationship, it's just like, it's really forced in my opinion. Um, you're kind of, and also, like, it's just extremely forced, and also, Mitch isn't even there when Lou needs her to be, and in all of season 13, it seems like his whole uh, thing was with uh, Jack and Tim, the whole Garland Beach situation. And that was just unnecessary, and I'm like, so you're, so you want to, you want to be competitive. You want to be a competitive company or brand, or you know, you want to have a competitive product with the girl you're in a relationships grandfather and father and yet you want that to be okay like okay and also i just i i'm going to say this one more time because i think it's very important uh gabriel hogan and michelle morgan have extremely good on-screen chemistry together they work really well together they can play off each other very well and i don't think michelle and kevin can do that as well as uh, Gabriel and Michelle can. That's no hate to uh, Michelle or uh, Kevin, but I just, there's some actors that can work better off each other and can play off each other. And I think Gabriel and Michelle are better when it comes to that. And that is one of the key things that I look for when I'm kind of like, you know, watching a TV show where I see a possible love triangle happening or relationship drama. And I'm just like, okay, which actors play better play off each other better how who you know brings out the best performance in each other and that is very very important when you're looking at a relationship on on screen it's like well if they don't play well off each other and they don't act good together how are they going to pull off a romantic relationship that's believable and again that's just my opinion but i really 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 hope we get to see uh uh, Peter and Lou get back together in season 14 because if we don't see them kind of, you know, hint at the idea of still having feelings together, it makes the whole argument with uh, Mitch and Peter in the season 13 finale essentially pointless and I'm just going to be like, so did you just do that to start uh, drama between the team Mitch and team Peter fans? Yeah, okay. Some TV shows do that, but I swear if we don't get to see Lou and Peter together in some, like, if we don't get to see them together in season 14, I am going to be upset. I love their relationship. It's one of the most invested on-screen relationships that I am, that I've ever cared about, to be completely honest with you guys. Like, I love this relationship. I love the two actors that uh, portray the relationship that are, um, working together when they're working together. I love seeing Michelle and Gabriel on screen together. I love seeing how their characters work together and deal with situations. And just the whole scene in the season 13 finale, I know I keep coming back to that, but it's a huge, huge thing for me. Why, if you're not gonna be together, there was no need of that. Like, and they kind of were already hinting at it throughout season 13 with the whole uh, Peter being there with Lou's campaign. Guess who wasn't there? Mitch. Uh, guess who defended Lou when Mitch was kind of upset and having an argument and who went to kind of, you know, mediate when they were having the argument? It was Peter, uh, you know, and who, again, who was there versus who wasn't there? 
just saying. But anyway, that is all I have for today's video. I know this video was a little bit different than what I normally do, but I really, really, really wanted to talk to you guys about this because I, like I said, I've never been more invested in a TV show relationship than I am with Lou and Peter. I've loved their relationship ever since we got introduced to them. And I just, I want to see their, uh, them get back together in Heartland, whether that's in season 14, season 15, season 16, or whatever. I don't care. I just want Lou and Peter to end up back together. And also they have uh, Katie and Georgie to think about and, you know, their family. So that's another, uh, important element of their relationship as well but anyway let, just let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below do you ship lou and peter why or why not if you don't that's completely fine if you ship lou and mitch i completely respect that if you want to leave a comment saying why you ship lou and mitch instead of lou and peter i'd be very interested to see that but anyway just let me know down in the comment section down below who you ship lou with in heartland do you ship Lou with Mitch? Do you ship Lou with Peter? Or do you ship Lou with Scott? Because I know there's a lot of people that, skip, that still ship Lou and Scott together. So let me know down in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.